Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is an absolutely gorgeous Friday afternoon. It's quarter after 12. So today to continue on with the whole, I'm green boxing and I'm just gonna do everything on aperture priority and let the camera do everything else. Here we are in broad ass daylight at high noon and I don't have an ND filter on here. I have it on aperture priority and I have it at f4, which is as wide as this lens goes because I'm using the 10 to 20 f4 PZ lens. So I'm standing in the shade. The sun is directly behind me. So I'm just gonna walk out into the road here and see how this handles it all. And it handles it damn well. The shutter's at like 1 640th, ISO's at 125. Ooh. Okay, now I'm facing the sun directly. My zebras are like on the white of the hat and the gray in my beard. <laughs> so I'm at 1 2,000th on shutter, and it's obviously not gonna go below ISO 125. But look at this, you can see the sky, you can see the building, the road, all the trees and all that shit. You can totally see everything. And as long as I'm just out here testing, I might as well walk to the mailbox and get my mail. Okay, Jesus Christ, it's like the first time I've ever gotten into my truck before. That was awkward as shit. Jesus, the only thing I didn't do there was stick my tongue out. Okay, that'll do. It'll last for all of like a minute, but the lens is clean now. All right, onwards. All right, so here we are. Great Neck Park. Again, it looks fantastic. As I'm fond of saying every time I come back here, this is gonna be treacherous because it has been raining for so long. And every where you step, it's just filled with leaves and pine needles. And they're all like semi squishy wet. And of course there's a lot of water out there because it rained a lot. So it's, like I said, it's 51 degrees, but it's not terribly warm, but it sure as hell ain't 32 and that's a good thing. We'll be a dumb monkey and we'll walk over here down the slippery slope or I will fall down the slippery slope. Oh man, the water's like right up to it. Okay, this ought to be good. I'll slow-mo this if I fall, unless I break my ass. One step at a time, monkey. Okay, so here we go. Normally, I can walk out there. Today, I can't. There's actually some itty bitty waves because there's so much water. I'm trying to get here where I can stand up. Okay, so here we go. See, not too bad. Now, it's pretty much standard. This is gonna be on ISO 125. And right now the shutter's at 1, 125. 1, 1, 125th, whatever. And F4, I'm keeping it on F4. So there isn't gonna to be too much blurry background. But guess what? I don't care. Now what concerns me, I know that they fixed this bridge. At least I think they did. But there was an entire like section that was busted out. And since there's so many leaves down, I mean, there literally could be enough leaves that it sort of filled over the hole, in which case I'm gonna basically step into it and break my ankle. And I'm not gonna put a whole 10 minute segment in this. I think it's gonna be a few shots and you're gonna be able to tell. Basically having this in aperture priority and letting the camera deal with everything else, it's gonna look just fine. And it is perfect for a running gunner, a daily vlogger, although not every day lately. Although this week I did give you something from every day. But you get the point. I think it, it's gonna do just fine for, for me personally. Might not work for you. You might be hardcore on the rules, but I don't go by rules, man. 
Sorry, I couldn't resist saying that cheesy line. If it were just even five degrees warmer out, I think that would make a huge difference because there is a little bit of a breeze. I might just like go get coffee and sit here for a while. That's how pleasant it is. Am I wrong for thinking that it's smart for me personally to go into aperture priority and just let the camera do everything else rather than constantly dick around, pulling ND filters on and off, spinning them to try to get the right thing, changing all my settings manually because I'm not a professional unless I do everything manually, right? I think this looks great. And this is gonna cut down on the headache of me like, ugh, this looks like shit. Or having Yankee Cowboy saying, love your stuff, but all your shit outside is blown out, right? This looks pretty good and you have to admit it. I'm not even seeing zebras. Everything looks great on the screen. Now we, the, ah! It's a dump truck moving back, like a, one of those big, big, oh, Jesus, that's brutal. We'll call that like horror ASMR. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, see, it was a dump truck and it was uh, putting its little dumpy area back in place so it was sliding forward on, the, on its track. Bean has been gotten for both of us. And I'm hungry. So let's go home and eat and drink bean. And I did get an eggnog latte because tis the season. Okay, kids. So there you have it. Didn't do an awful lot today after I did all the filming in Great Neck Park because other shit had to happen. The wife actually decided that we really needed to go grocery shopping and decided to go grocery shopping with me. So we went and did that, but we had to go to Target, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods to get everything that we needed to get. And then by the time we got home, well, that took care of that. So I did some more day job stuff, finished that up, and then I've been interneting and eating dinner. So that's all you get for today. But you can see now, because here I am in the studio, I'm doing the same thing with letting the camera figure everything out other than aperture. And also that's what I did all day in the Forerunner in Great Neck Park. So how do you think it turned out? I think it looks just fine. I mean, I still think it looks good. I mean, if I'm looking at all the other colors of all the shit that's around me, and I think I look just fine. And I think I looked just fine out in Great Neck Park. And I think I look just fine in the Forerunner. So as far as I'm concerned, it's fine. And I think that's the way I'm going to roll. Yes, in theory, I'm green boxing, but not quite. And the difference is, is that I know how to not green box. So if I did want to go back to manual, I could do all that and I know what I'm doing. I just don't want to have to do it 2000 times a day because of the changing conditions that I'm always going through as a daily vlogger. Let me know what you think. Think it looks okay? Think I'm crazy? Think I'm being lazy? Don't care? Let me know down in the comments. And that's it. That's all you get for today. So if you do have anything like comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.